Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Monopoly Tycoon. I'm Joe Colton, and I'm going to be taking you guys through this strategy slash building slash awesome fun game. Um, the main goal of this game is to get money, build your empire, um, take down your computer opponents, and have fun. Um, this game can be kind of challenging depending on you know if you have a, a good strategy um, and it also helps to know how things work but um, this game isn't too hard and as you, as we progress you'll see that this game is pretty consistent with what you're supposed to do for the most part um, so here we are so there's a few settings you can switch um, I don't have the game audio so don't worry about that um, and there's a few graphics graphics um, you can change the board if you're in a different area and you can change a few things so the main focus of the game here's in single player multiplayer you can set up um, a um, group over LAN or else you can play against the computers but here in single player there's a few different modes and we'll be going over these later on but right now we're going to stick with single player campaign so first we have one scenario here and there's for every scenario there's three different levels um, basically the way this works is that there's a few variations between the difficulty of each level um, for the most part, if you can beat the level on Gold Cup, you can pretty much be on any other level. Um, sometimes you will have to adjust your strategy, but it's usually not too hard. Um, this first one, it doesn't matter because it's you're by yourself and you only have to make 100 sales. It's pretty easy. Um, but let's go over the characters. Um, the reason we have to go over the characters is because these are going to be potential computer opponents later on in the game and they can be um, interesting so race car is the player I usually pick because I like the token in the actual Monopoly game I'm not too fond of the character himself but it's alright um, but as far as a computer opponent he's pretty tough he likes to build really quickly um, he also likes to spend money really fast um, um, and then him he can he usually can be kind of annoying in most respects he's n not the best player but he can be kind of tricky and wheelbarrow is probably the most annoying uh, player in the game um, he's very tough um, the main thing that wheelbarrow likes to do is he likes to auction properties quite often um, you'll see him trying to ruin your strategy by auctioning um, he also likes to build where you're building um, he'll just do everything in his power to be as annoying as he possibly can um, but because of that he doesn't usually win he usually ends up in about the middle uh, middle of the lineup at the end of the game and the reason is is because he's focusing his efforts on trying to ruin other people um, but we'll get into that more later dog I don't find playing against dog very often um, she's usually pretty quiet she just kind of does her own thing she doesn't really do much I don't really remember a whole lot about dog um, but you know she's she is what she is what she is Cannon, he's pretty cool um he's a pretty good player too um he has a really good strategy um he usually tends to go for the lower ranked areas of the game which are the best areas to gain and then he likes to um play very strategically and he's he's very good in that regards he's probably the second best player in the game um, and then Top Hat, this guy is kind of crazy. 
Um, the main, there's certain levels where you're pretty much guaranteed to have Top Hat on, and we'll get into what those levels are later. But Top Hat, he is the auctioneer of the game. He will try to auction pretty much any any property he can, and he, he will usually kind of gain a lot from that. Um, sometimes he will spread out around or sometimes he'll just follow the other computers um, he'll just stick to kind of one block and just kind of go from there um, but he's he's his main thing is auctioning and horse horse is the best player in this game horse likes to um, just kind of get her block going and you really strategize um, her strategy is definitely the best because um, she plays very well um, she also will auction properties um, and try to use those to her advantage um, so th some people will actually play as horse in order to not play against her because she is the best player in this game um, but we will be playing against her so we'll see if we can take her down later on and Iron is the worst player in this game. Um, Iron is very slow in what she does, but she is also very. Um, she also manages her money very well. Um, you'll rarely see her going into the red, which you can go into the red in this game. It is possible, um, but we'll get into that more later. But Iron, you'll rarely see her in the red. You'll rarely see her doing anything like super crazy. Um, because she usually has a good share of money because she manages it real well. If she does go into the red, it's usually for a very good reason. So you'll see that later on. Um, and she can be tough, especially on like um, certain levels. She can be kind of tricky in that regards. But most part, she usually usually someone else wins before Iron does. So. Iron usually never wins because she's, she's so slow. Battleship, he's pretty cool. Um, he usually doesn't play anything too crazy. He usually just is kind of laid back and doesn't really do, you know. He can he can potentially be good, but usually he just kind of does his own thing and kind of just keeps to himself. Um, he usually doesn't mess with you too much. Um, but he does, he does okay. Um... He isn't too bad. And Shu, Shu can be kind of devious. He does like to kind of mess with you at times. Um, he doesn't, you know, he kind of, sometimes he'll do his own thing. And some, and he's very cunning in his um, strategies. But he isn't too bad. He's not the worst. He's not as bad as Wheelbarrow. That's for sure. And Thimble. Thimble's the rich girl this game. The main thing that Thimble is good for is having a lot of cash. She usually is the player who likes to have the most most cash in a, in the game. She usually likes to try to outbid you in auctions. And she just will do everything in her power to try to have the most cash. And she can be annoying in that regards because she does like to um, use her cash to... Um, to get more cash and all that stuff, but um, she's not the worst either. So that's the characters. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, folks, to Monopoly City. So let's get rolling here. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta take a pull here, and let's go ahead and start building here. And you can just kind of watch and follow along as much as possible. This game's not too hard. Once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. So right now I'm building my day businesses because those are the ones open right now. Day businesses run from 9 until 5, and then night businesses run 6 until midnight. Um, okay. So, yeah. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling this apartment and 
The poll is the citizens are telling you what to build um, on the block. So basically this is them telling you what they want to buy and so then you build th those businesses. You don't have to follow it exactly because this because the citizen because some stuff sells better than others. Um, so you do want to pay attention to what they want and how much they want it. Uh, and some of this stuff you can pretty much build and it will always be good but other things are kind of tough to get good mm, there it is as you can see we're getting some sales already we're already almost to the goal already just by building a few businesses it doesn't take long um, um, bread I don't know if we have that I don't think so we should get it though relatively soon. If not, we can we can get it later, or we can get it later easily. Oh, there we go. We won. So that wasn't too bad. That was a pretty easy level. As you can see, we did pretty good. So the next level is pretty much the same thing, except now you will the the level says you have to build apartments. You actually don't have to because. Um, you can just build your businesses and and then it will be good but let's, but they give you enough money to do it anyway there we go sometimes you want to speed it up here okay let's go ahead and take a pull here gotta wait until some people move in actually I could have just I actually could have just built some stuff right off the bat that I know is going to be good but yeah it doesn't matter if we don't get today, it's not the end of the world. Bookstore, bookstore, bread, movies. Don't need the movies right now. Um, the clothes store is really good at the beginning of the game. But later on, the clothes store usually doesn't do so good. It's very hard after the first few days to get your clothes store to go do well. And so sometimes what I will do is I'll actually refurbish it into something else. Oops. Let's go over there. Yeah. This game is not too hard at these first few levels. Um, but as we continue on, it's going to get a little bit trickier. I'm sure some of you guys who maybe played this game before know what I'm talking about. Um, do I have a new stand? No, I don't. Okay, let's build one. Usually the rule, the good rule to follow when building is usually better to build up rather than out, rather than, you know, not building a super huge store, rather adding more floors to it is usually the better. And, and follow, usually follow the numbers of how much is in demand. And usually, if you can, go for maybe about double what they want because there's always other citizens in the city besides the ones in your apartment and you got factor that some of those citizens will come and buy your stuff as well. Um, we're almost at 5 o'clock here so we're going to need to build some night businesses here. So let's go ahead and build some of our night businesses. So we'll start with the cinema. That's really good. Let's go 36. And then I think I saw they want drinks so we'll definitely build a bar. Let's go go 32 it's fine we got plenty of money here they give you quite a bit of money oh, I'll build a uh, restaurant we need to make 50 sales here so if we don't by the end of the day uh, end of today well, that's fine we'll definitely make it tomorrow but we'll see here what we do there we go almost got it There we go. We got it. Okay, cool. That was not too hard. Alright, now 
it's a it, this is our first level where we get to play as a computer opponent and now we have to make 200 sales you know, keep the prices keen well we don't have to worry about that because um, as you can see we're playing against the worst computer opponent in the game iron um, so you should have no problem winning this scenario we don't have to worry about building apartments so let's go ahead and get started iron should uh, be pretty easy to beat. Let's go 24. Oops, we don't need that. Oh, iron, you're crazy. Iron's building where we are. Okay, well, we could compete with her, but nah, that's not. That's probably not gonna happen. Oh man, no one's living there. Guess we'll build over here. This isn't the best place, but. We could compete with iron, but it's not going to be worth it. Oh man, iron's going to win now because, or iron's going to get ahead now because we because we built on the same block. Clothing, books. This is bad. Sorry guys, this this usually doesn't happen. Iron usually builds on other spots. She usually doesn't build where we're, we're building. I guess iron's playing more aggressive than she usually does. Which is crazy. Don't ask me why Iron's doing this. She is winning right now. That is not good. And I can't believe that. That's crazy. I cannot believe that she's winning right now. I do not know how that is happening. Okay, now she's not, but still. Alright guys, usually, usually I get ahead right away and I usually beat her but this time she's doing okay we're doing a little better now I think we've got a few more shops than she does so she can't and she can't deal with that as well because the more sh usually if you build quick enough and get plenty of shops here you should be fine um, I'm just gonna build stuff I know is good pretty sure I don't have a newsstand No, I don't. I just have those. Okay, that's fine. Um, what else can I build? Pretty much in these earlier levels, you don't have to worry about quite as much. Um, it's almost nighttime already, and we gotta make 200 sales. We already got half of that. Let's go ahead and do a cinema. And I wanna build a nice, good sized bar, too. I don't know how many people want drinks, but we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Might as well. Now we're winning very much. See, Iron just built a few stores. She built a cool store, doctor's office, and uh, something else. Oh, first chance card of the game. Uh, sure. Uh, I already won, so it doesn't matter. But chance cards are randomly given at certain time interval in the game, and they they can be they're usually pretty random. So those were the first three levels. As you can see, they were pretty easy. But now is where the game gets tough. This is where the game throws you into the fire. I'm sure most of you know what this is. This is. The next level is three thousand dollar daily profit, and although this, that doesn't sound like much, it's this game is very tough. And as you can see, our cast of characters on Gold Club are Battleship and Shu. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna have to do stuff for that. But that's gonna have to be in the next episode. So that is gonna be all for now. So yeah, so that is the beginning of Monopoly Tycoon. In the next episode, I will show you guys how to win $3,000 a day of profit. We'll see you then. Until next time, this is Joe Cool 10 signing out.